Hello everyone, welcome back to Abdo channel. In today's video, we will talk about what is granted authority and what is role in Spring Security Module. Okay. Suppose if uh, there is an organization who is having manager, HR and em other employees, right? Suppose manager will be having a couple of uh, authorities like uh, he can approve the leaves, allocate project course and calculate the project billing, approve time shifts. So these are all the authorities the manager will be having. Similarly, HR employee will be having some recruitment related authorities, updating company policies and taking some disciplinary actions against the employees. These are all the authorities that an HR employee uh, will be having in any organization right so granted authority means a fine-grained authority that a user will be having okay so fine-grained means the lowest level of uh, authority the most fine-grained authority the user will be having is called as granted authority having said that if a, an organization is having multiple managers multiple hrs right suppose if 10 different managers are there 10 different hr employees are there then we have to allocate all these authorities we have to grant all these authorities to each and every manager to each and every hr 10 20 different times right as as many employees as many managers as many hrs are there those many times we have to allocate each and every authority individually so uh, in order to avoid that problem assigning each authority we can group these authorities into an entity and assign that entity directly so that we don't have to repeat allocating all these authorities to this manager in separately we can allocate that entity directly which contains all these authorities permission which gives which grants all these authorities to the particular manager that entity is called as a role okay if you see this if you allocate role manager role to manager that he will be he or she will be accessing all the authorities that are there that are part of this role so role is a container of authorities okay it is a coarse grained uh, permissions or the coarse grained access levels or the access permissions. It is called as coarse grained. While the granted authority is called as fine grained authority, fine grained access permissions. Okay. So, uh, yeah. While we are working with the authorization in our previous example, right? So, we have used these methods like uh, has role and has any role okay so that's all uh, about uh, the difference between granted authority and the role granted authority means the fine grained access permission role means it is a group of or the container of authorities it is a coarse grained access permission we can allocate the role so that the, all the authorities that are part of that role can be directly assigned or authorized the user will be authorized to those other uh, actions that are part of the role okay so that's all about uh, granted authority and the role and difference now we will see what is the example we have done in the previous uh, video here we have done we have used has role admin has any role employee and admin employee admin role will be able to access the page all service employee and admin both will be able to access page by id service so if you look at this method see this uh, shortcut for specifying urls require a particular role if you do not want to have the role prefix automatically uh, inserted okay the role to require user admin note it should not start the with role prefix as this is automatically inserted so what it is saying as you are using has role method you just mention the permission name or the authority name okay you don't have to tell me that it is a role by prefixing with the role underscore okay like this 
I'll by default add it. Suppose if by mistake if we add the role underscore prefix before the other div while using has role and has any role, we will see what will happen. See this, it is giving some error. Role should not start with role underscore since it is automatically inserted. Got role. So you are giving me role underscore admin method. For has role method, you don't have to give it to me. I will add separate, I will add internally. That's what it is saying. So, has role will take only the authority or the permission. You don't have to mention the role underscore prefix. Similarly, we have another method has authority. Okay. If you look at this method has authority authority the authority to require role underscore user and role underscore admin okay specify that urls require this particular so while you are specifying uh, authorities in and passing them to the has authority or has any authority method what it is saying we have to explicitly mention that it should act as a role okay that's how we have to mention like this okay so we have to prefix the authority with the role underscore when we are using has authority so then it will be acting as a role interchangeably this role and authority will be used interchangeably but uh, as we discussed earlier role is a container of authorities and it is a coarse grained access permission while the authority is a fine grained access permission okay now let's see whether if i am able to invoke these services by calling has authority and giving the permissions as role underscore admin and role underscore employee okay now mm -hmm. i ran the container i ran the application now let me hit this fetch one service this should be available to both user and admin employee and admin roles right let me log in with employee see this is working fine right so let me check fetch all as well with employee user so 403 access forbidden we are not giving the fetch all service so if you are passing role underscore admin with the has authority then it is working fine uh, the authorization is working fine not allowing a fetch all for employee user allowing fetch by id for employee user similarly this will work fine for admin as well so that is the difference in uses and the difference in theory part between the granted authority and the role that's all for today thank you for watching we will meet in the next video thank you